Fellas, you've heard of Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy on the Super Mario 3D All-Star Collection. Today, we have opened up a whole new dome for us to explore, but there's a number of other things here on the observatory I wanna to get to first. Like, you can see there are some areas that are totally blacked out. We can't even actually access them too much, I don't think. Hey there. The observatory is running low on juice, so it's all dark past here. I don't think there's anything we can actually do, really. Like, we can run around and explore it and stuff, but I don't think we can go into anything or really do anything much with it. But soon enough, we will. You can see the dome we will be getting into in today's episode back that way, though. But in the meantime, I do want to sort of, you know, fill up that little Luma over there. Can eat star bits. It looks like the garage has finished up the one starship. So there's a lot to take a look at. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need 400 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. All right, then. Well, we have plenty of star bits to give you. So here you go, buddy. 400 of them coming up. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. And there we go. That's going to go way over there. Whoa, what is this? The sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. Whoa, this is cool. So this is like a whole bonus galaxy we can look around in. Is there just one star here? Sweet Sweet's Galaxy, the Rocky Road. <laughs> That's cool, Rocky Road is sort of like a, a type of ice cream. It's actually one of my favorite kinds, because it's like chocolate, but it has like marshmallows and stuff in it. It's really nice. Oh wow, this looks delectable. So here we are, this is so cool, it's so sweet. <laughs> so I guess we'll have to run around this. We gotta be careful though. Just because it's a tasty pl planet or galaxy doesn't mean it's not a difficult one. Oh gosh, we gotta watch out for all these circles and, and other shapes too. I guess I'll have to maybe, yeah, oh no. Oh, that was maybe a bad idea. Maybe a bad idea, no! <laughs> That's not a good start. Luckily, we have a bunch of live, lives, so we'll be okay. <laughs> that was just a little bit silly. Okay, I might just wanna stay to the side a little bit here because running against it, we, we are slowly making progress though, so it's not too much to worry about. If we jump, we can sort of go a little bit faster. There we go. Okay, maybe that's the strategy here. We got all this chocolate on the ground too. Yeah, it's telling us to go up like this. So that's so what I'm trying my best to do. Oh, we can grab these extra star bits waiting around. So you just gotta make sure we don't get pushed too much off to the side or we'll get zapped again. And I really don't want that to happen. There we go, we made it. Hi there, Toad. I can't go any farther. Don't stop here. The star is right around the corner. Okay. I mean, <laughs> it might be a little difficult to get there, but we'll certainly try. Oh man. So who's going at this platform with the cookie cutters? I think that's what's happening here, right? Okay, let's grab that one up really quickly. That actually wasn't so bad. A couple more star bits waiting for us over there too. We can get up to 50 of them, we get another life. There we go. Oh no, there's still so much more to survive. Not quite just right around the corner. There's a little bit more to survive. Oh no, come on, come on. Gotta run across this one really quickly. We're catching up. Slowly but surely, I'm a little bit nervous on trying to make my way past this thing. It's, ah, difficult to do. We're like actively, oh, there we go, using the long jump, long jump to my advantage. That was much better. And we made it. Hey there. We got a power star. Awesome. And it's on this really swirly cake. I love mint chocolate. Oh, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, what was that? Over there. Hey, we're going, we're going back, I guess. So, yeah, I heard Captain Toad for a second. Where is he? Why did it make his sound play, but just for like two two seconds? That was weird. Anyways, um, hey, we're going back. Oh, I guess they're maybe honking at us? Gotcha. So there we go. There is our star here on Sweet Sweet Galaxy. A bit of a challenging one, but I'm pretty sure that'll be the only star to get there. So that was a fun little bonus. Cool. You got a star, Rocky Road on Sweet Sweet Galaxy. And that's the galaxy completed. And we got our high score updated, a bunch more star bits. So while we had to spend 400 to get there, we at least get 60 back. And we discovered a new galaxy too. I guess that'll be in the fountain. Which, what do you know, is where we're headed right now. So if I were to go back over there though, was there anything more to do? Okay, let's take a look. If I were to go back, is there a map I can pull out? Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll just talk to you. I wanted to see if it'll show me the sweet, sweet galaxy and if we've gotten everything. Um, so we take a look at our list here. Yep, that's it all completed. So we don't have to go back there at all. But I did want to check out the garage down this way. We still can activate whatever that is, but there still might be some other things to do. Hey Mario, 
We're gonna do our best to find power stars. Uh, that's a spirit mushroom man. Okay, so here's Captain Toad. Hey, buddy. We've finished building the Starshroom Starship. We'll use it to search for power stars. And we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be br the brave crew. And this brigade needs a bold leader. So I nominate, um, well, me. <laughs> Under my command, the galaxies will see the bravery of the Toad Brigade. Sounds great, I can't wait to see you out there. We finished our starship. The Loomis built a mushroom starship that looks just like us. Oh, that's so cool, it looks great. You got a grand star from Bowser Jr.'s robot? So that means Rosalina and Bowser are enemies. Well, we have to help Rosalina and find out where Bowser is hiding. I guess so. We call it the Star Stream. That's great, we get a little one-up right over this way, so that's pretty easy. Is there anything we can do on top of it, though? That's always what I like to check. Can we even get on top? Yes, we can. Nice. Can I be, can I break in? I guess not. So I think with the Starship, we'll see the Toad Brigade all over the place throughout the galaxies. Can't wait to find out, but for right now, we are heading to our next dome waiting for us right here. Step here to go to the fountain. So last time it was the terrace. Now it's time for the fountain. I wonder if there's anything behind it. Once again, I'm always desperate to find new secrets, so it doesn't look like it though. So we'll head into the very colorful fountain. Very pretty too. I like the color scheme here with the blue. And whoa, it really is relaxing in here. Hi there. Oh, of course, here's the map. Okay, so here's the map again. We just saw this a moment ago, so we don't really need it too much. So we will hop into the pool star and see what we have to tackle this time. I guess this new galaxy here is what we should focus on. This is the Space Junk Galaxy. Huh, so there's like, I guess a bunch of junk. Big bag of trash. <gasps> Interesting, and there's a big spaceship there too. This is definitely different. So what's our first star for this one? The Pool Star Path. So it looks like we have three more stars to tackle in this area. Might be a bit of work, but I'm willing to get down to it and maybe clean up this galaxy a little bit. Even in space, litter can be a problem, which is why you should never litter. Okay, so, wow, look at the space in the distance here. Just that color gradient, the hues and stuff, so pretty. I know some stuff on this side too. Just some extra star bits to grab. Here comes some more, or, or not. <laughs> but we can, you know, grab one of these pool stars like we have before, and then I think we'll just float over to this side? Yeah, we will. That's great. So we have all these sort of just random different objects floating about. This music, it, it's so relaxing. Even when this game gets super difficult, there's just moments of it that are just just unexplainably, just enjoyably relaxing. It definitely has a different vibe than some of the other Mario games, but we can grab those coins, no problem. I can maybe, oh no, we oh, gotta be careful. If, if we don't line it up correctly, we can just fly out into the depth of space and that wanna be so good. But I just need to connect my way to these different pool stars. I don't think we can land on these little platforms or whatever they are. Um, so we'll just have to be careful about that. But here's where I can jump off and land on this little sphere. Whoa, that was cool. And I guess I want to yeah, jump to this one. Got it. All these little uh, star chips we need to find. There's our third one. And here's the fourth and the fifth right next to each other. Got it. Trying to watch out for those little electric balls. They will not be fun to touch. It's so cool you can see Mario's reflection in it too. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and look at this one. Or oh, busting through. Oh, I don't get to go into that planet just yet, I guess. Instead, we're on this abandoned ship, which sort of looks like Captain Alomar's from Pikmin. That's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna bust this open. And I, can I get it? Yeah, there we go. Getting some extra coins. I don't really need them too much, but it's always fun to try. Yeah, that's where we were before, I believe. Oh, I don't wanna go up there just yet. I wanna explore a little bit more of this ship if possible. If I can. <laughs> it's not really letting me, so you know, maybe that's my sign that we just keep moving. Uh, there we go. Whoa, 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 okay, so I can't stand on this? I oh, know I can. Just had to sort of shake from the grasp of the, uh, the pool star. So we'll go over to this one, grab that star bit, and go over here now. So you can build up some major speed here, as you can see. We gotta be careful, we don't wanna sort of, you know, send ourselves careening into any of these rocks. Oh, so we weren't here before. Getting a little turned around, I suppose. There we go, we get a one up for getting 50 star bits. And what is that, it's like a spider? Oh, it is. Well. Let's see if we can't kick them away. Oh, they're jumpy ones, aren't they? So we'll land on one of them, and then maybe I'll just, ow, hit the other one away. <laughs> Cause I needed to do that in the opposite order. What's on the other side there? Whoa, we got more of them. Gotta be careful. 
Okay, so I'll just try to spin at them. I get one, I get the other, and then one more. Let me get this first. Actually, no, I don't trust it. <laughs> there we go. So we're getting a lot of service from it, though. Interesting shape for a little area here. There you are. Gosh, yeah. This is so cool. Whoa, and there's a ton of toads here. We definitely gotta save you guys. Oh, and Goombas too, so we'll save everybody, but probably shouldn't save the Goombas. Let's knock them out. Hey there, buddy, you okay? Huh? Where's the captain? What of the first sign of trouble again, huh? Oh no, captain, how could you? So it looks like the captain maybe gets a little bit of stage fright when it comes to battling enemies. Luckily, that's where Mario comes in. He can help out a bunch. So that's where we came down from before. Can we talk to you? Where'd my glasses go? Hopefully you can find them soon. There's two more toes to save though. And since we saved them all, here he comes, it's the captain. Here to save the day, I guess. Where's that confounded power star? Thanks a bunch. All right then, so we'll break these two just because it's satisfying to break them. Well, let's jump up to you. Howdy, captain. Da 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 da, Mr. Mario. As the brave, ca brave captain of the Toad Brigade, I've already discovered the shortcut to the power star. Take the sling star at the top of the star stream. Sure thing. So there's a shortcut right over here. We can launch ourselves over, and here we come. I'm not seeing a power star though. There are these little gray stars though. What are they about? Whoa. Whoa, the platforms are just appearing as we walk. That's a little scary. Will they disappear behind us? Whoa, look at this. That is so cool. So that's one of the little craze stars we have here. If I'm not mistaken, we're supposed to collect several of these. This is so crazy. If we can find them all, I think it'll form a power star, but I guess we'll find out. Now we gotta make sure that we don't make any missteps or we'll fall right into that black hole. I guess we're going right over here, come on. Got it, there's our third one. I see another one right up here. Is this gonna be the last one? Not quite. Okay, plopping back down. And I think, whoa, whoa, whoa. Way over here, we have the last one. That has to be. I don't see any others around here, but how do we get to it? Whoa, okay, here we go. Got it. Come on. And there we go. So we found all five of these mini stars, and they sort of combine to create the power star. Now with that, we gotta go all the way back. It couldn't just appear right in front of us. It's a little bit of work ahead of us here. Let's try to be careful, but I, I mostly remember the way back, so shouldn't be too much of an issue just to run back this way, and there we go. We got it. A little bit of scary platforming, but we made our way through the first star in the Space Junk Galaxy. You got a star. Okay, well that was very fun. So let's see our sort of rewards for this one. You got a star, the pool star path in Space Junk Galaxy will be our 12th star in total, and a little bit of an extra total to our star bits, making our way back up to 1,000, and we've discovered a new galaxy that I'm sure we'll be exploring later on here in the fountain. For right now though, we're gonna save our game, and we'll just head right back up there if possible. So we'll star number two be here in the Space Junk Galaxy. We'll fly over and find out this area definitely seems like it's jumping up in difficulty compared to the first two episodes. Let's see it for ourselves though. Camella's airship attack. Ooh, so who's Camella? I don't think we've run into them yet, so. Ooh, it's one of Bowser's minions, that's for sure. We got a whole fleet of ships coming in. I guess we'll find out together. We are starting right here on one of the Starshroom starships. Oh, I love the little seats in there too. That's so cute. So it looks like the Lumos have made several of these so that the Toad br Brigade can get around the galaxy. Mario, my brigade boarded the enemy fleet and none have returned. As captain, I would go save them myself, but I'm much too busy at the moment and scared. All right, well, we'll help you out. Let's go ahead and fling our way all the way onto there. So I guess there's a lot of planets over there that we won't be dealing with too much. I guess with the way you say it. Oh, and there's one of the little Luma bunnies again. What's up with that? Ow, okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's just land on the Goomba, get our health back, but look at all these star bits. And get rid of you. Can we go inside the ship? That'd be so cool. I don't think so. Oh, that's unfortunate. But what about this over here? We got a question block, which might just give me yep, a nice little bundle of star bits. I love the Bowser flag. I don't know if they've ever had that like in any other Mario game, where it has like Bowser and the cross swords, like a proper pirate ship. 
Really cool detail. Is there anything out this way? There might be, but I'm, I'm too afraid to check. So instead, we'll go back over here and flick the switch, which should lower this drawbridge. Hey, the little Luma bunnies. Jump and spin. I'm gonna try it. Ah! <laughs> so scary. So they're luckily able to help us sort of figure out the controls a little bit. We can also long jump over. To get stuff that's too high to reach, jump and then spin. So we can grab this stuff, maybe. There we go. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it gives us a little bit of extra jump height. Gotta pay attention to the shadows, really. That's how I usually watch in most platforming games where exactly I'm standing and how to easily land on things. Whoa, we got some Goombas over here and some poor Toads are captured. What happens if I stand on this and spin? There we go. Whoa, that was cool. And that should be enough just to jump, spin, and hit that one. So spinning is so important in this game. It's like one of the big core mechanics. And there's a Koopa shell over there. Oh, and there's Kamek again. Here we go. Can I just throw this at you? I can. Ooh, that was good. There's another Toad Seed. Hit the treasure chest with a shell. Pa pow. Oh, okay. If you're carrying a shell, shake or press Y to throw it. So we'll pick up another one. That's pretty cool. Toss it at this chest and we'll get a coin for that, which I didn't really need too much, but oh no, the Magic Koopa already tried again. Can you leave me alone? I'm a little busy here getting some, some treasure. I mean, I guess it's probably their treasure, so that's probably why they're trying to stop us. But let's see if we can't use this shell to stop Magic Koopa. Ooh, that was a great throw. We'll have to go grab another one real fast and break open this treasure chest. Got it. And that is going to be another um, launch star for us. We are flying all the way to the next ship. There's more enemies waiting for us and some Koopas to fight. I think that's our first time finding Koopas in this game. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, that's not what I wanted, but we'll just kick you away. And there is a pool star over there. That's interesting. We'll deal with that in just a moment, but a ton of star bits to get all over the place. See, so what's the deal with this? Can I go inside this little, hold on, hold on. Just do that and can I go inside? Whoa, we're sliding. Oh, that is so cool. There's a bunch of star bits in here. So we're finding the uh, the hidden treasures of these ships. Very cool, very cool. So now that we've stolen all your star bits, I wanna take over your ship, huh? Here's another toad from the Toad Brigade. If a shell is just out of reach, you can still spin to pick it up. All right, good to know. And then we will free you too. Hey, buddy. Stupid octopus is blocking my way. I bet a few shells would take care of that little problem. Okay, so if I get you like this, and pick it up and break this open. Oh, it's a red shell? So that's gonna fly right over to them, just like in Mario Kart, it just flies directly to them. That's so cool. So we'll beat up another Koopa so that we can throw that. And oh, that's gonna be some extra health for us that we'll definitely need sooner or later. Now, when it comes to this other guy, I think we're just gonna have to have good aiming. There we go, we got ya. And down goes the bridge. So we can get across super easy. And this is a different ship. It's very fancy coloring. Oh my, what's happening now? Uh-oh. Here they come. So this is Camilla. Oh, and they're not playing around. They got the power star wand and everything. What can we do about this? So I can get some extra coins from that. I might want to save that for later. They're just launching fireballs at us. What can we do about that? Oh, here we go, can I? Whoa, it gave me a green shell. And then I can maybe just, oh, I miss. That's not good, ouch. Oh no, poor Mario. So we can fling back the green ones and get a green power shell or a green turtle shell. Ah, okay, this is not going so well for me so far, but don't worry, I'm learning from each throw. Got it. And then right about here, gotcha. Much better. Oh, and you're gonna give me a bunch of free starbits for that, don't mind if I do. Okay, that's another fireball. Don't wanna mess with that. Oh, she's closer now too. Gotcha. And then right about here. No, I hit the wall. <laughs> a little too close to the side, I guess. That's okay. In this one, you can tell there's some little green sparkles as we're, as she's sort of winding it up. There we go. If we can hit you one more time, that might be it. Uh-oh, what's going on now? Whoa! Calling in some little Kamek's to help you. I don't appreciate that, but we can just knock them back pretty easily. So let's focus on the the, the normal little Magic Koopas first. Ah, oh, I missed ya. Come on. Gotcha, that was pretty good. Oh, wait, wait. Get the screen shell, and then toss it over here. We gotcha! 
That was tough. But there goes Camilla. And look at this. Boom, a power star. That was a cool fight. I love all the boss fights in this game because they're also unique and memorable. But there we have it, a power star, our second one here for the, uh, the Space Junk Galaxy. Cool. You got a star, Camilla's airship attack in Space Junk Galaxy. And we get a little high score update. So we're back over a thousand star bits. I'm sure we'll be spending more of those soon. It seems that a prankster comet has appeared somewhere. Whoa. Prankster comets have very strange effects on galaxies. If you wanna learn more about these curious comets, ask the Luma who knows about such things. Huh, a prankster comet. So we'll save the game for now, but that is something we'll have to check out later. Prankster comets are sort of ways we can return to previous galaxies, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Prankster comets have very strange effects on galaxies. Okay, so we'll talk to them in just a moment. We'll go to that purple Luma over here. Hey there, buddy. Hey ho! If you need to know anything about prankster comets, I'm your Luma. How can I help? Tell me more. That prankster comet is always stirring up trouble, making galaxies go all crazy. Speedy comets limit the amount of time you can spend there. Daredevil comets leave you with low life. Cosmic comets make you race a mirror of yourself. Fast foe comets make your enemies move faster. Now the fun part is trying each one out. So I guess we'll have to return to some areas to get those done, but not too much of what I'm worried about for right now, I don't think. I don't think they go away or anything. So I would like to focus on completing Space Junk Galaxy because we only have one more star left to get there. So we'll launch ourselves all the way over to this fountain little dome and get to it. This game is so much fun to explore though. I'm having a blast with it and hopefully you guys are too. But let's try this out. Space Junk Galaxy, fly to it, and let's get started. So what is our third star here for Space Junk Galaxy? It is Terran Tox's Tangled Web. All right, so maybe another boss fight? Would we have two boss fights back to back? That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, we passed this one earlier. There's a lot of spiders there. But we couldn't quite get to it, so hopefully we have the chance this time. That'd be fun. But we're back here on the little, uh, what are they called, the, the starships? And let's talk to you really quickly. Whoa, a brave brigade toad went to search for a power star. He went off to that planet and hasn't been seen since. Think he's okay? I guess we'll have to go find out because we really don't want a toad in danger now, do we? Okay, so we'll jump over to this one. And this seems pretty similar to what we've done before with this little cylinder shape. Oh, I can get you in the air. That was cool. And then we'll just jump off of you. Look at these combos we got going on. This is great. Oh, there's another one. Let's be careful of that then. Ow, that's not what I wanted. It's sort of hard to tell where exactly they're standing. But I feel like that's something, once again, over time, we'll get a little bit more used to. There's still plenty of the game to explore after all. So we'll jump from all these. Oh, I'll even be able to skip one. Whoa, whoa, that's really gonna make me move. See, this is actually pretty similar to last time. But last time we went that way. This time we're going to this sort of clear, maybe even icy planet. Hard to tell. Okay, and then I land. Is it icy? No, it's a sort of translucent. Okay, so maybe we can get inside somewhere or something. What do you have to say? Hey, you. Yeah, you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need 50 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. I'm so hungry. So we don't quite have 50 yet, then we have 38. We have to actually be careful with our aiming. If we sort of miss, you know, it won't really count. So I don't get enough to make them super satisfied, but that's okay because I'm sure we'll find more of them soon. Right now I'm just trying to find, yeah, the entrance to this little planet. Okay, so what do we have around here? First of there's a little Goomba to face off with. And if we kick them away, that'll be better because that way, can I break that from under here? No, I can't. That way we get the star bits so we can use to feed that Luma. Here we go, plenty more. So we needed 12 in total. We'll go back to them soon, but for now I will hit you. There we go, no problem. So we do have everything we need for that now, but I'll keep exploring this area before we head back. But there is a launch star, was there anything else? Easy to get lost around here, isn't it? That's how we jump down. There's definitely more this way. Whoa, that was a lot more. Gotcha and gotcha. 
Okay, wow. Sometimes Mario will do that. He'll get stuck and just start running in circles even though I'm just pressing one direction. It's a little weird. Oh, it made you spin up there. That was cute. Okay, I really think that's everything. So we do have another launch star down here. I don't know what this one leads to. So sort of curious about everything we can get to here. I guess I'll start with this just to see. Wait, oh no, that's gonna blast me somewhere else, which is fine, I guess, but whoa, we broke through that. That was so cool. I wanted to help out that little Luma, so I don't know what that would have given me. Maybe we can come back at some point, but for right now, oh no. Wait, gotcha. That was pretty cool. We'll hit you too. And don't forget about that one. Oh no, there's a little toad stuck to the web. We can, I guess, fling it. Whoa, toad, wait. Oh no. Where did they go? Okay, they're on the other planet, I think. Hopefully we save them. Uh, but I can fling myself over. I hope I didn't just fling them into the depths of space. Where did they go? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Woo, thanks. No problem. I got really nervous there for a second, but we made it work. So now I can fling myself. Yeah, just follow the coins a little bit if possible. Oh, we got plenty more waiting for us. So I will try to hit them if possible. Got it. Oh, they're coming in. So scary. The music is pretty intense too, so just gotta watch out. Some of them are just sort of hopping in place. Some of them seem to be moving towards us. But either way, they all gotta go down. And I see you over here. Another star bit chilling out on the top of the little ship. Now I definitely want this right here. This will double our health. Certainly useful. So, so far I'm really enjoying all the new Mario power-ups in this game. You know, we've got the, the health doubling, B Mario in the last episode. I wonder what new things we might find soon. Okay, I think we're good to launch ourselves way over to this little shape. Did I do it? I did, cool. Okay, oh no, ooh, that almost didn't get you. And then there was one more over here. Oh, I missed ya. That still didn't get you. Oh man, sometimes the reach isn't as long as I expect it to be, but it seems like it's all of them, so we'll just launch ourselves over. So what is this big fuzzy thing? Is this gonna be, whoa, whoa, we broke it. What is going on with this then? Can I launch on this? I can. And I guess we're hitting the big one in the center. Oh, whoa, there's a big spider inside. It's got three eyes. That's scary. Okay, so what do I do here? Oh no, I think I gotta hit the behind of it because you can see it's sort of flashing red. So I'm gonna try my best to do that. It's a little scary and difficult to do it, but come on, ready? And boom, got it. That wasn't so bad, but now there's three smaller ones to hit on the belly. Okay, come on, we'll get you. There's one. And we broke the rock, so it's gonna make it a little bit harder to actually get to them. Oh, there's a little toad right there too, I didn't even see you. So maybe I could talk to them in just a moment, but right now I just want to launch into it. Boom, gotcha. That must not feel good. Did we defeat you? Oh, there's more. More little bumps to head. Okay, come on, I gotta run. Cause it's gonna spread that goo everywhere, darn. I'll grab that coin really quickly, Dan. Oh no, oh no, oof. So it just sort of spreads them out from the little nodules, I guess you could call them. It's a little gross, but, ah, come on, I'm just trying to pick them up. I wanna try to talk to that toad down there, but I guess, you know, it's not probably all that much worth it. Oh my goodness. Um. See, what happens if I, if I could, ah, no. <laughs> this is not good. Also, the controls are a little bit weird. We're sort of like flipped right now, and then Mario gets confused. I'm pressing left, but then he goes right, but then he'll go left again. Yeah, that doesn't work. I was trying to hit that. So we're just gonna keep moving and try to hit him from the butt. If we can catch up to it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we just launched a toad. Okay, that's not what I really wanted all that much. No, no, go back up. Come on, did I get it? I don't think I did. Darn, that did stop it for a moment though. Come on, boom, much better, much better. Okay, we're back on top of things. I'm going to hit this one, launch into that. Hi toad. Toad's just watching us. I can't move. That was weird. Got it. And then here's another one I can just get onto really quickly, right? And then, boom, got it again. Whoa, see ya. We knocked them out, no problem. Okay, maybe there was a couple of problems, but it's okay because we survived it. I'm really lucky we had that extra health though, because without it, without it, it would have been a lot more of a struggle, but we can launch ourselves almost into it. Let's try that again. Boom, there we go. So we've defeated the evil, whatever it was called. Um, was it? I forget what it's called. I think there's some kind of evil spider. 
and we get a we get a power star for it. So that's great. We get a star Terran Tox's Tangled Web, the Space Junk Galaxy. So that's pretty cool that we got that done. Getting more star bits to our count, and a hungry Luma has appeared. Excellent, and that's right outside the fountain. We'll save our game for now. Yep, saving our progress. And the game has been saved. So let's hop right back out there and see what else we can get done. So that is technically not the Space Junk Galaxy completed, but a new one has appeared over there. And then I guess that's it for now. I could open this one too. So I'm not really sure what we wanna do. Maybe we'll try the Speedy Comet that's in orbit. This definitely has me curious. So we'll try this out really quickly. Oh yeah, Speedy Comet in orbit. So with this one, when it pops up, it's the only thing we can do. The Pool Star Path Speed Run. Whoa, this sounds like fun. So how do we wanna handle this? I guess we just have to be really quick through it. Will there be a timer? Oh man, well here we go. Pool Star Path Speed Run. It's looking dark, sort of red. We got four minutes to get through it. So we can't worry too much about things like, um. Star bits and things. We're just gonna run through and just get to our other other things. So obviously we could get a lot of star bits if we do wanna take our time, but I don't wanna risk it. We don't have a ton of time here, so I just wanna keep going. But it looks like it's gonna be like the same star that we did the first one in Space Junk Galaxy, but just with a time limit, which makes it quite intense. But so far we're doing a pretty good job. Not even 30 seconds into this and we're already way farther ahead. I can grab these. You know, if we're floating around, might as well grab some easy free star bets, but making our way onto the, the ship here. And where do we go from here? I think, yeah, this thing. And then over to that one, if possible. Got it, right? No, there we go. And then this one. Oh, whoa, okay. I thought I fell to my doom there. That was not good. So if we fall out of the range of it, it will sort of snap. Let's see, now we can do this. Build up some major speed, go over to this one with three minutes remaining now. Uh-oh. We still have a little bit more left to go, don't we? So, this is where things get a little high stress. I'm clicking them, I'm clicking them. Whoa, that was scary. That was super duper close to being a disaster. But now we can spin off of this. And I could, you know, spin into these guys. I don't know if it's worth it too much when we can just jump up here. Ow, get hit by you, which is definitely not what I want. And we gotta save all the toads, remember? We did this last time. So there's two of the toads saved. The third one's right there. And then right over here, this is the last one. Oh, we got the Koomba running around too. Did I get you? I might've gotten you, I, I can't tell. Come on. Here's Captain Toad again. Okay, so I, I didn't get rid of the Goomba, but it doesn't matter too much. We just know what to do here. We need to get on this side and shortcut our way to the Power Star. Oh yeah, I remember this. So we need to grab all these gray stars before the time runs out. We have a full two minutes there, so hopefully it's not too bad. We know where they all are. So I can grab that one and then head up here where we should have a couple of diverging paths. First off, this one. But then we jump across to here, up to this thing. Yep, there we go. I don't wanna rush it too much, you know? Whoa, because if we fall to our doom, then we're gonna probably have to do the whole thing over. And that wouldn't be so nice. We have plenty of time to spare, actually, the more I'm looking at this. So here's our fourth one. And then the fifth one should be back this way and to the right, I think. Maybe? Uh, yeah, I think over here. I don't think we've gone to this one. Here it is. Boom, we got it. So luckily the time doesn't go down during these animations, which is nice. That'd make it a whole lot more stressful. But there we go. A minute and 34 seconds remaining for us just to walk over there and grab the star. Shouldn't be too much of an issue at all, right? We just go like this and boom, we got it. That was a pretty good time. Awesome. So that's what some of these trickster comets can be like. Sometimes they're time trials, sometimes they're different challenges, but they're a nice way to get some extra power stars and a sort of familiar place. Yeah. Got a star, pull star path, speed run in Space Junk Galaxy. And not too many star bits there, because obviously I didn't take my time, <laughs> but we've discovered a new galaxy again. So lots to get to in later episodes for sure. Enemy base spotted. We're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. For right now though, I feel like there's more to do in sort of our local areas here. So we'll just jump right back into it. And let's see. It says that there's like a hidden mystery star or something. I don't know what that means. Is that a star that's already somewhere on here? 
I want to take a quick peek. I don't know if it'll tell me where that star is. Oh, it does. So maybe I could find a hidden star on Terran Tox's Tangled Web. If I had the guess, it had to do with that Luma that I didn't give it enough star bits. So let's try that again. We'll go back into this level. We'll see if giving that enough star bits will unlock some kind of secret star. Okay, so I've gotten up to the 50 star bits I need. It wasn't too difficult to do so. So if I can just find my way back out of here and use the pull star, let's talk to that Luma again and we'll see for ourselves. Can we actually burst that open and find a hidden star? Because that's really the only place I hadn't been. So it does de definitely have me curious. Hey you, yep, so we are, we've already read all about that, so we can just sort of skip through this pretty quickly. And give you all the 50 star bits you need. We have 51 of them. Did that not count? Oh, uh, did, wait, did that count or did that not count? I don't think it counted. Why can't I talk to you? There it goes. No, it didn't count, that's so silly, come on. So now I have to go and find two more. Darn it, we're at 48 out of 50. Okay, give me one second, I'll be right back. Hopefully they don't get more hungry while they're waiting, but where's the entrance? Oh, that was so silly. Here it is, here it is. So let me go all the way back over. I hear a Goomba walking around. If we could take them out with a little spin, we'll be fine. May not even need to, I could just grab these ones. See, Goomba, didn't even notice me, didn't even notice. So now I run back over here, I grab this thing, and this time let's be sure not to waste them, right? <laughs> let's be careful. How do I get up there? It's being picky. Oh, come on. Why is this being so silly? There we go, I just had to be slower with it. Guess that's what I get for rushing. Now I go back over here, don't launch them yet. We need to walk all the way up to you, and then when it shows that little aiming. That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go, transform! So where will this lead? Whoa! Oh, it's a little Yoshi! A new planet was born. That is so cool. So we will launch through this. It's a little Yoshi planet. And there's so many Goombas, oh my gosh. Whoa, and there's some steam popping out of Yoshi's nose here. He's not happy with all these Goombas on top of him. Do I just fight them all or is there gonna be a power star somewhere? It looks like I just need to fight them all. So let's get to it. Here, let's knock these two out. I don't get any star pits for it. Oh no, whoa, there's so many of them. <laughs> Too many of them actually. Come on, gotcha. Haven't taken any damage yet, but as soon as I say that, and it doesn't give me any coins. Whoa, I got a combo there though. Ow, oh no, oh no, that's a problem. Spin Mario, spin! Oh, that was close. Now we cannot take any more damage or we're in trouble. So please be careful as these Goombas continue to storm in on us. Gotcha, and gotcha. Okay, so back over this way. We got that Goomba taken down. There's so many of them. It feels like more of them are like respawning or something, but I'm pretty sure this is the final Goomba. Is it? There we go, something's happening. Yoshi bestows upon us a little power star. So there was our hidden star here for the, um the junk galaxy, whatever it was. There we go, so cool. So that was a neat little diversion. I don't know if Yoshi's actually in this game beyond just little secrets like that. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for right now, we get ourselves another power star. I think our 15th in total? No, it's actually our 16th. Yoshi's unexpected appearance, space junk galaxy. So cool. So we'll definitely save our game with that. And we'll see what else is waiting for us here in this fountain dome. Obviously there's still more to get to, but I'm glad that we, we have fully completed Space Junk Galaxy. I figure maybe we'll clear out one or two more of these. Like this is the Rolling Green Galaxy. Whoa, I think I remember this one. Oh, look at the windmill too. That is so cool. I think this one is a really cool, different sort of thing. Obviously we have the surfing last episode. But this time we have Rolling in the Clouds. Let's get going. Ooh, it is what I remember. I remember these being so fun, but also crazy difficult. It sort of looks like golfing, right? But as you can see, Mario's flying in. There's a bunch of Goombas and coins to get. Let's see what's going on here. Welcome to the galaxy. We will read this. Hey now, if you're thinking about just rolling that ball away, you'd better listen to old billboard here. First, jump to get on top of the ball. Okay, so as you can see, we jump on top of it. All right, you're on. Now try to match the guide on the bottom right. 
So I guess we need to point our controller straight up. Yep, there we go. Right, that's it. That's what we call the basic position. From the, that basic position, tilt the controller to move the ball in that direction. Then press B to jump. If anything gets in your way, smush it. Anyway, you'll learn more by doing it yourself. Good luck. So yeah, we have to tilt the controller. This can be very difficult with hooves, mind you. So we'll do what we can. Um, well, okay, we're getting launched. Come on, gotcha. We squished you. That was sort of good. All right, come on, keep going, keep going. Not too bad. Um, whoa. I'm going to do my best to grab some of these coins and then fly down here. Whoa, look at this, we're on a little railing. I'm just trying my best to take it slow. Let's take it carefully. Mario is rolling too, it's too quick. Oh man, so hopefully slow and steady wins this race. Now you can see there's sort of a more dangerous way we can go here, but if we do it, we get ourselves some kind of row of star bits. Oh man, oh man. Just trying to be careful, just trying to be careful. Ah, no, 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 ah, it's so scary. It's like a roller coaster, but I get the control on. Oh, and we can jump with it, don't don't forget. So if we wanna be really risky here, what we can do is we can go like this, jump, oh man. And we can maybe get a one up for it. I'm gonna squish this Goomba, smush it. And then get up here and grab a one up. Not too bad. Now I wanna get over here if possible. Oh man, I don't wanna build up too much speed. We gotta be really careful. Oh wait, whoa, that was crazy. I don't really have many aspirations to squish every Goomba here. If I could just take too much time and that really adds a lot of risk, but I can get this. Oh man, I'm going too quick. I'm doing, going way too quick. It wants me to go all the way around the side here. I don't know if I wanna, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I was tilting the other direction, but I guess because it was downhill, it sort of pushed me off. That might not have been a good idea. So that's where it's like, is it really worth risking that much? I don't think so. So I'll get back over there and we'll just try to head straight to the exit. Okay, so we'll try to take this supposedly safer path. There we go, and we made it over. That's fine, I'll take the safer path this time just to get to the end of it, because look at this, I think we've made it. So sort of a hole in one, I'll take it. There we go, that was a lot of fun, albeit very challenging. So now we need to get to the top of the flagpole, and boom, our next power star. That was so cool though. I love these little side galaxies a lot because they just have like these fun new mechanics. Anyways, with that done, we have collected another power star, this time the Rolling in the Cloud star from Rolling Green Galaxy. And that's a galaxy completed. So obviously we don't get a ton of rewards, a ton of goodies from that, but that's fine. So I think we have enough time here to maybe tackle one more galaxy if we can find something. Let's see, what's available for us? There is like a whole new galaxy to explore there. This one I can't access just yet. If we were to take a look at this, I won't go into this one today, I don't think, because it's probably gonna be another three of them, the Battle Rock Galaxy. That'll probably be for next episode. But, I do believe there might have been more over here. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished, I'll need 400 star bits to curve the hunger pang. So we definitely have 400 for you, so we'll feed you up real quick. This is our second one of these today. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go, transform. And that is going way over here. So we get ourselves another bright and shiny new galaxy. This one is the Sling Pod Galaxy appearing. So I'm guessing this will just be like last time where there will be um, an extra star to get here. I guess we'll find out together. Okay, so this will be Sling Pod Galaxy, a very sticky situation. Whoa. All right, so we're off. Look at this place. This does look sticky. I don't know if we can handle all this, but there's a ton of star bits to get for it out in the distance. Oh man. You can see a bunch of them way over there, but I can grab a couple on our way down. Oh man, things are a lot smaller scale here. See, I can't quite grab those, we're not close enough, but this isn't like the pool stars. We can only go at it once. Oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, really? On our first attempt? That's not good. Okay, let's try that again. Make sure my angling is perfect. There we go, much better. Oh, and I guess I could do that to get an easy coin. Gotcha. And then once again, perfect angling. No, I missed it. Oh, that is so tough. Oh my goodness. This is gonna take a lot of tries, isn't it? 
All right, well, we'll try again. We're, so we have 40 lives, so we have plenty of attempts. And with each one, we'll get a little bit better. So I'm not too stressed about it, but and still, you know, good thing to keep in mind. I think for this one, we just need to line it up with the planet, but there's very little margin for error. It's crazy. Okay, this time I got it. But yeah, this is one of those times where this game actually has a pretty crazy difficulty spike. And that's something I feel like this game is sort of famous for, is that it'll suddenly just get really difficult with some starts. You know, most of the time, you know, things are going quite swimmingly, but then other times it's just like this total disaster. So we'll try to launch ourselves to this one and hope I don't miss like that. Ah, oh, no. But hey, at least we got a one up for it. So the life we lost, we gained back already technically. But man, it's gonna take a lot of time to get over there. It's just quite the struggle, but at least I'm getting a little bit of star bits each time, right? You know, that's pretty good. That'll give us even more one-ups. Okay, so I made it to this one. I did a bit of a shortcut, and you can see with this one, more than anything, we need to line it up with all those missiles, but this is where I can just use the pool stars to get out of this mess. That's great. So I'll grab as much as I can here. I don't know how long the pool stars hold me for, if it's forever or not, so I'm just trying to grab whatever star bits I can while we, uh, Try to survive that, there we go. Okay, now I go, now I go. A little bit more star bits here and there, but I think we've gotten the most of them, which is nice. Whoa, no, go Mario, Mario, Mario! <laughs> oh, that was scary. Um. Okay, so instead of doing that way, no, wait! Oh, I gotta be so careful here. Um. Yeah, I didn't get any of those coins, but I guess I could just maybe let myself float a little bit. There we go, whoa! Hold on, Um. what do I do here then to get over that way? I think I might have to, that's so weird. I don't know how to, come on. I got it, whoa, that was close. So I guess I launched myself to this one. We do get another one up, but I'm only one hit away here, here from destruction. We can get that, no problem. I should probably just do this, but maybe I shouldn't have done that because that was sort of my easy way to figure out where we are with all this. This is a tough one, but we made it, we made it. Okay, so before we go too crazy here, I'm gonna grab that coin. Now I gotta be careful because there's a fire bar behind us that could probably hit us if we're not careful. We launch right about now. Whoa, oh, I made it, I made it. And here it is, the last one. Okay, let's, let's reset ourselves a little bit. And then go for it. We made it, that was so challenging, but we kept trying and we made our way through, so we got a star. I'm so glad those ones are optional though. You know, if we're struggling, you don't have to do them unless you want to get 100%. But beyond that, you don't need to get every star to complete the whole game, you know? So you gotta star a very sticky situation in the Sling Pod Galaxy, and that's that galaxy fully completed. So we've made our way up to 18 power stars, quite a number indeed, and we're back over a thousand star bits too. We discovered a new galaxy to check out somewhere in the fountain. So we'll be exploring more of the fountain in the next episode of Super Mario Galaxy in the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.